Hey family, today I'm going to do a quick video talking about hell and the truth about it and what the Bible teaches about it. Today we're going to look at the topic of is hell forever? Is hell a place that you go and you burn eternally in front of the presence of God and in front of the presence of His angels and all the redeemed? Is this something that the Bible teaches? Will people, will people be burning in hell forever? And the answer is no. People are not going to be burning in hell forever. Now ever since Satan was cast out of heaven, he made it his mission to destroy the character of God so that no one can come to Jesus and be saved. Even Satan in heaven tried to destroy the character of God because it says in the book of John, 1 John 3, that Satan sinned from the beginning. So Satan was already attacking the character of God, trying to destroy the character of Jesus Christ. Now, this lie that hell is forever and you're going to be burning in hell forever actually came from the Catholic Church that took the Bible out of context and used it for their own personal gain. They have been using this, the Bible, for their own personal gain for a very long time. That's why when you look at their church, you see a lot of weird things and a lot of weird teachings that they teach. And one of the teachings, one of these teachings came from them. Now, why did they invent the doctrine that hell is forever? Well, around the 14 and the 1500s, they had a, there was a painter called Michelangelo, and he was very expensive, and he was in charge of painting the cathedrals. And at that time, they invented, to pay Michelangelo, they invented that the term that people are going to be burning in hell forever and the indulgences so that they can pay off Michelangelo and so that he can paint the cathedral. And this was a <clears throat> this was a plan from Satan to take the money from people out of a fear tactic so that people can pay him and then they could pay Michelangelo. Now let's look at a few verses. I will say that there are some verses in the Bible that when you do a surface reading it, it says that hell is forever and we have we have to be honest about that but that's just a surface reading and the Bible does, it doesn't say to do a surface reading of the Bible it says to study the Bible and it says to study the scriptures and when you study the scriptures and you study the Bible there's a couple of things that you find I'm gonna share a few verses with you we're gonna first read in Malachi 4 3 it says you shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet and in the day I will do this, says the Lord. So here we read that after people finish burning in hell, they're going to be like ashes. Now, when, the, when does something become ashes? When it's fully consumed. Something we really, have to, we really have to understand. Now, if they are turned to ashes, does that mean that they are burning in hell forever? Of course, of course not. Look what it says here in Isaiah 47, 14. It says, Behold, they shall be as stubble. We see ashes and we see stubble. The fire shall burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the, po from the power of the flame. They shall not be as coil to the warm, no fire sits before it. So here we read that after they turn into ashes, they turn, it's, they're like stubble. And that's, that's a very interesting thing, like stubble, because stubble is something that the wind comes and takes away and just blows it away. If we look in the book of Jonah, it says in the book of Jonah that Jonah says that he was in the mouth of the fish forever. And you know, it's a very interesting thing that he would say that. Now honestly, was he in the mouth of the fish forever? He was only in there three days and three nights. So why did he say forever? He said forever because it felt like forever. When you, read the, when you read the Bible verses that says that hell is forever, does it actually mean forever? That's why you have to study the Bible. When you look at the word forever, it actually means one lifetime, one period of a lifetime. Now, there are some instances in the Bible where Jesus says forever, 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 and that means forever. You could look it up yourself. But what does it mean that you're going to be burning in hell forever? It doesn't mean that you're going to be having the fires forever. What it means is the results of you getting burned by hell's fire is forever, or the lake of fire is forever. Which means that if you get burned by the fire, the result is that you're going to be turned to ashes, and the stubble, you're going to be reduced to stubble, and the wind's going to take you away. It means that you're no longer going to exist. So the fire is not forever, 
but the result of you being burned with the fire is forever because you're eternally separated from God. Let's all return back to the Word of God, people.